considering the diffusers is um, non-symmetrical, so you can see the firewall over there is angled, it's not actually a rectangular room. Uh, and that and the diffusers which are hung at random angles, uh, it's done that way so that the sound gets scattered randomly in all directions and that's really what you're trying to achieve in this room. You want a diffuse sound field which means theoretically that all the sound is travelling in all directions equally. Uh, we fill the room up with sound uh, until it's completely saturated over the frequency range that we're looking at and then the program automatically shuts the speaker off and starts recording and so we're starting at probably around about 100 decibels and then as the speaker switches off we start recording the decay and it's pretty much a straight decay, just a nice linear line and it records, the microphones record, um, how long it takes for the sound field to decay by 20 and then 30 decibels and then it uses that information to work out how long the sound field has taken to decay the equivalent of 60 decibels and so what we're really comparing here is uh, the room, the empty room measurements which I took earlier this morning um, so that's got no absorbing panels or anything in there and we compare how long it takes for that sound field to decay compared to when we've got the, the product in the room and that difference that it takes for the decay um, can be then used to calculate how absorptive the material is.